Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. As you saw in the title, I have returned to Martin Creek Lake State Park. Yappy has uh, some business, a thing to do in Tyler and I need to come back here and redo the virtual tour and throw that Insta360 camera into the mix. And so here we are. Went and saw some train stuff this morning. That video will be following. Actually went into, uh, went into Marshall and learned about the Texas and Pacific. Didn't even know that was, didn't even know that was a deal. All right, so, but this video is not about the train stuff. This is about Martin Creek Lake State Park. So let's get to it with a site review. On my previous visit, we were we were down in the trees and since we're gonna be you know she's got to be connected we've got to have a a clear view of the northern sky i went with a the most open campsite that i could find which was which is we're in site number 38. A 38 is a big site a big meadow just down the i mean we're 50 yards from the facilities we'll be seeing that next level relatively level i'm on four blocks I had to lift this side four the other side three uh side to side we're okay there's a hole on the pat the driver's side Took a little, little a couple, couple minutes to get level since our hydraulic leveling system is still not working. It's work. It works. It's just this jack over here won't stay up. So it's a 50 amp site. 50 amp with water. The water's on the back side. There is an ant issue. So make sure you bring your ant repellent with you. We, we found that we had ants in the in the kitchen this morning a little bit of trash aside around the wheels and psh, them bad boys was gone so we have a place to burn some wood and cook a steak <laughs> we are camping in super style now the ubiquitous lantern hook two times i mean we can hang a lantern and a bag of trash or two lanterns or two swings we're we're camping in style now Got a nice big concrete patio for the picnic table and a good roof over our head just in case we get some rain, which doesn't look like that's happening. We currently are not in a burn ban, but it's drying out. But look how deep this site is. And I think it actually connects to one of the, the hiking trails over there. And Martin Creek Lake Martin Creek Lake State Park does have some nice hiking trails. All right, that's my site. We're here for three nights, and then we're moving along, moving right along. I might add, really right along. Well, let me hop on Sable, put on the camera harness, and we'll go see some Martin Creek Lake State Park stuff martin creek lake state park stuff all right let's go see some stuff let's do a shower check we are in the facilities a little bit dated way better than where we were last time though there are three shower stalls that one works the best the middle one This one, and I think this is the handicap. Yes, this is the handicap. And it gets hot, I know, because I showered in it last night, and it worked great. All right. Where 
gonna go right next door. Before we go any farther with Martin Creek Lake State Park, click that howdy button. Tell me howdy. Tell me something. Have you ever been to Martin Creek Lake State Park? Do you like Texas state parks? Do you like state parks in general? Tell me down there in the, in the comments. And it would be a great help if you could click that subscribe button. Why are you clicking anyway? You know, it doesn't cost you a dime. So right next to the facilities, we have the amphitheater and the little, little library. And this is also the trailhead for one of the big hike and bike, one of the multi-use trails. And I actually did a, I shot some scooter tra trail ride footage. Of, I did a lot of videos last time I was here. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're wanting to have a state park experience, but you don't want to sleep in a tent, you don't want to sleep in the car, you don't own an RV, and you like air conditioning, then you'll be excited to know they actually have two family size cabins with screened in porches, patios. I have places to cook food, like a charcoal grill, as well as a fire pit with a, a, a meat grill on top of it. But best of all, <laughs> air conditioning. Yeah, but these are actually little little houses. They've got a common living living area, and then I think two bedrooms maybe, and and I think they have a, a bath. I don't know. I've not ever been in there. But looking at the vents on the roof, I'm pretty sure they got a toilet. <clears throat> Moving right along. Martin Creek Lake also, in, in, in addition to the larger cabins, Martin Creek Lake has, I think it's three cottages, which are basically screen shelters that they have enclosed and installed an air conditioner. They have quite a few really well-maintained screen shelters. I think there's like 20 of them. And quite a few of those are like right on the water. And of course the water here is so full of lily pads that you wouldn't be able to do much. You're also, oh, it's locked. We can't go in. There's not much to see in there anyway. I don't, they don't even have a picnic table. The picnic table is outside, but you have a, the ubiquitous lantern hook and it's a double so you can get two bags of trash. You also have water electricity, and a place to burn some firewood. Martin Creek Lake does have firewood and it's on the donation honor system. They have not yet caved and given in to uh, the firewood vending machine, but that may not be a good thing because there currently is no firewood available. The downside to camping in a screen shelter at Martin Creek Lake State Park is that you're right over here by the power plant. So Martin Creek Lake is a power plant lake and it runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And they bring in train loads of coal. And we heard two resounding explosion-like sounds this morning. It shook the RV and freaked us all out. All right, uh, let's go see, let's, let's go see some more stuff. Do you like to fish? When you're fishing within the boundaries of a Texas state park, you're not required to have a fishing license. We are on the big fishing dock at Martin Creek Lake State Park with a commanding view of the power plant. Seems to be quieter than the last time I was here. There do, do not seem to be as many trains coming and dumping their loads. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe the EPA has something to do with that. 
All right, now we need to go onto the island. I'm going to an island. We're headed over to the island. This is a, this is a rough bridge right here. But we get to go fishing right here in the middle of the bridge. Oh really? They're comfortable shoes. I like your bike. It even has a bell! That's so cool! You are here. This is actually the island and there's primitive camping on the island but it's also available for day use. And they've made some improvements since the last time I was here. When I was here last, that was uh, kind of rough coming off that bridge. All right, let, let, let's go find a primitive campsite on the island. The, these, these are not real ADA friendly trails. Of course, you get out into the piney woods, the, the pine roots are, are hard on your scooter. Basically, primitive tent campsites. You bring your tent out here, or not, but like this one, you, 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 if you're camping in style, you've got a double lantern hook and a picnic table and a place to build a fire. I'm not, I'm not sure where you would pitch a tent. I guess you could pitch a tent right over there. But if you're, if you're in this site, most likely you're gonna be sitting up all night catfishing all right let's go see some more stuff Don't come to me. Don't come to me. Go. Go. Go on. Go on. The, the dogs freak out when the dude on the scooter goes by. Yeah. He's worried about you for some reason. Yeah. Well, it's because I'm unnatural. Unnatural. Martin Creek Lake must be a really popular boat lake because there are two, two laner boat ramps. My boat ramp fans are gonna be so excited that there's four boat ramp lanes and three courtesy docks. And when you come back with all those fish, you got a place to clean them. And a quite spacious, and I mean spacious, boat ramp parking lot. Now you can fit a whole bunch of boats in this parking lot. All right. We need to go see some more Martin Creek Lake State Park stuff. If you are planning a visit to Martin Creek Lake State Park and you want to get on the water, but you don't have a boat, you don't want to bring a boat, you don't want to mess with a boat, well, you can rent a canoe or even a kayak. They're still doing it old school here at Martin Creek Lake State Park. You rent it from the office, not from a kiosk. We are adjacent to the swim area. Of course, the, the beach doesn't look to be very well maintained these days. Beautiful day use area though. Let's go find some more Martin Creek Lake State Park stuff. Well, that's all kind of running together, isn't it? Are you looking for a place in East Texas to have a group event? Martin Creek Lake State Park has got you covered. Actually, they have a covered pavilion and a place to park. Beautiful scenery and a great and, and, and lots of activities. Good place to have your family reunion or your bike rallies or RV rallies or, or whatnot. But I got sun is, is starting to get low on the horizon and I've got to do a scooter run so I'll be back in the morning <laughs> 
Sometimes you just, sometimes you just got to kick off your shoes and swing. Almost missed it. I remembered at the last moment that I failed to show you the playground with the metal slides that'll cook your hiney in the summer. As you saw, we've got some really cool swings that you can go really high on. And there's even some swings for the infants. And if you're tired from chasing after those kids all day, you got a place to sit down and take a load off. All right, I got to head back to camp and kind of put things together. We're rolling out of here in the morning. Got something cool to go check out, so make sure you click subscribe. We're going to be checking out some cool stuff from this point on. Remember, click the subscribe button so you don't miss another episode. And oh yeah, remember to hit that bell as well. All right, let's head back to camp. Pretty well at the end. Uh, we are at the end of our visit to Martin Creek Lake State Park. Almost. We rolled out of here in the morning. We're going to head east and south. And then we're going to keep going east. We're going to keep going south. And we're going to keep going east. We are at the beginning of a very long journey. Actually, we've, we've been on this long journey, but... We went back to home base and came back. <laughs> anyway, you don't need all those details. The next campground that we're going to is one that I, I just discovered this morning. Uh, so I changed my reservations for the camp that we'll be at after that. I, I, brief, I shortened it by a day. And we're going to go and visit two different parks in Louisiana. That's right, we're going, we're going abroad. We're going to cross the state line. We haven't done that in a year. So we're going to go visit Louisiana, which is why you, you should really want to, which is why you want to remember to click the subscribe button and oh yeah, hit that bell as well. That way you won't miss those episodes. Because we, I've got a, we're we're on an epic journey here. You're gonna want to follow along. But let's sum up Martin Creek Lake State Park. Really, I really like the park itself. I love the East Texas forest. I'm I'm very partial to it. Uh, it it's really interesting the the difference in the in the biome. The trees that we see here versus where we live on in the post oak savanna versus where we just came from, which was down in the big thicket. So the trees are, are, are different. We, we've got, yeah, we still got the pine trees, but the mix of hardwoods and softwoods are different in all three locations, even though all three locations are considered to be East Texas. I find that fascinating. Uh, I, I think the, the campsites could stand to be a little more level as a whole. The restrooms could use some updating. Yeah, they're, they're a little dated. The thing that I am not a fan of is the power plant noise and the road noise. It amazes me how much highway noise we're hearing and we're, we're a couple of miles away from the highway. I guess the acoustic channel is just, just right for us to hear here because you get down the hill a little bit and you don't hear that, but you hear the, the power plant even more. The power plant doesn't seem to be as loud as it was the last time I was here. I don't know, it's like, it's like there's not as, many, as much train activity. Maybe they're, they're doing it different with the train the, the, that brings the coal in. I don't know. Uh, the underlying noise is not overwhelming it's just always there and that's the only those are the only is, real issues i have I, I really like martin creek lake state park uh, i love the locale if you're visiting and you're looking for some stuff to do uh, i'm going to have a video coming out about a visit my visit to marshall 
and the train stuff there. And on our way here, we were coming up from uh, Palestine, Athens direction. We stopped in Henderson and visited the Henderson Depot Museum. And of course, they were in, in the middle of some renovation stuff and getting, getting ready for the, the Syrup Festival. So I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time there. They they did want me to shoot some video, but they asked me to be brief. And I, and I most likely will throw that up as a standalone also for their benefit. Uh, they do have a, a, a caboose there that they're looking for any information on that caboose that, that you got, that y'all can provide. So if y'all can provide any information on that caboose, they would really appreciate that. They, they don't know anything about it, apparently. So we're done here. Now, that's, that's pretty much all I got to say. We're done here. We're, we're, we're going on a, we're on a big adventure. We sure appreciate it when y'all tag along. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, that does The algorithm does not like small channels. They only like big channels. And so we need your help to get there. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I know your time is valuable and I really appreciate you spending some of your time with me. Thank you. And for our patrons, <laughs> you know we're closing when I'm wearing one of the ship hats. That means we're at the end of the video. And for my patrons, I am so grateful for your generosity. It truly helps support the mission. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?